Red Raider Nation, live from Raiderville, is brought to you by Red Raider Outfitter. Hey, good morning. We're out here live from Raiderville. Population up to 91 this morning. We got our guns up. Tents are still up, but temperatures down this morning. Let's go ahead and get started with your forecast. I'm going to start you off with a look at our local radar. You can see not much to talk about this morning. We have an absolute clear sky above us. No storms anywhere around us or the state of Texas, for that matter. Temperatures, you'll notice the map says 46 degrees here in Lubbock, and I'm going to tell you firsthand, it is not 46 degrees. It feels like 30. It's so gosh darn cold out here. Mule Shoe, though, poor Mule Shoe, down to 39 degrees starting out our Friday, but the breeze. The breeze is what's really, really hurting us right now. Coming out of the west, 12 miles per hour. Gustier as you head down into that southwest corner. These strong winds are going to stick around for most of our day before they eventually start to calm down this evening and into those overnight hours. So plan on a windy day but a little bit of a warm day as well. Right where we were yesterday, we're looking at mid to upper 60s to the northwest, 70 degrees here in the hub, and then those low to mid 70s out across the rolling plains. So right around average for this time of year. Overnight lows are also going to be a big story tonight, though, because you can notice, take a look at Dimmit, Friona, Muleshoe, all beneath that freezing mark. So if you haven't brought in those sensitive plants or even the pets, um, earlier, bring them in tonight because it's going to be pretty cold tonight and 36 degrees here in the hub. So definitely looking at a jacket tonight as well as our game tomorrow. Kickoff temperatures are not going to be too bad. As you're out tailgating, I don't think you're going to need to bundle up. But towards third, fourth quarter, that's when I think we're going to start to feel that chill breeze. Not too bad, but definitely noticeable. And remember, kickoff 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Jones. Now your seven-day planner, breezy today, 70 degrees. As I mentioned, tomorrow is going to be perfect, 68, so a touch cooler in the afternoon, but still not miserable. And then looking Sunday, I'm going to keep a watch on Sunday. We do look to see a little bit of moisture moving in from the southwest. Now, this morning's models have kept it to the south of all of us. So hopefully that stays the trend. We're looking to see at least a little bit more cloud cover. Monday, we're good. Tuesday, another stronger system where I personally believe is going to give us better chances than the one moving in for this weekend. So I'll keep you updated on that. But as far as us here in Raiderville, there's a lot of tents out here than when I was on Wednesday. So a lot of students getting excited. We're getting excited. I know, Allison, you're going, I'm going, Christian's all going to the game. So if all you guys are heading out, come say hi. Yeah, that's exactly why we're all dressed in black today. I know you're in black underneath oh, yeah. your black coat, and I'm in all True. black. It's because we're excited for the game, right? So excited. Guns up. Yeah, we got them up. Kristen, thanks so much for that. We appreciate it.